Fujifilm GFX 100s is a powerful 102MP rival for every camera in the camera. Industry.The Fujifilm GFX 100s is the latest member of the company's medium format GFX series, and thanks to a relatively small body and price tag, it could be the range's breakthrough camera for professionals. Like the Fujifilm GFX 100. The GFX 100s has a monstrous 102MP sensor, but it crams that along with a range of other improvements into a body that's smaller than the Fujifilm GFX 50s, a 51.4MP model that it surprisingly replaces. I in many ways. The GFX 100 is a mix of the GFX 100 and GFX 50s, combining the SLR styling of the latter, with the incredible resolution of the GFX 100. The Fujifilm GFX 100s will be available to buy from the end of February. For $5,999, £5,499, AU $9,499. That's not exactly affordable for most photographers, even professionals, but it's important to put the price tag in context. After all, this is the first time a 102MP medium format camera has been in that ballpark. The Fujifilm GFX 100, for example, cost $9,999 before tax, AU $16,499, about £7,920, when it arrived in June 2019. And the outgoing Fujifilm GFX 50s, which only had a 51.4MP sensor, was only slightly less of $5,499 £3,999 AU $9,999 Fujifilm GFX 100 specs, and feature is the same 102MP Bayer sensor, as the GFX 100 new smaller IBIS system, with 6 stops of stabilization to fix 3.69 million EVF with 0.77x. Magnification The Fujifilm GFX 100 seconds most noticeable change from the GFX 100 is its much smaller design, but it also brings a lot of new features for both still and video. Shooters.The camera is built around the same 102MP medium format sensor as the GFX 100 and is Fujifilm's latest X processor 4. But Fujifilm is claiming some big improvements for the autofocus performance, oh with the aft tracking and face eye detection, both upgraded. Sorry. Fujifilm has also redesigned its in body image stabilization system for the GFX 100s, which should help boost its handheld shooting credentials. A new gyro sensor and detection algorithm should give you around an extra stop of stabilization, compared to the GFX 100 with most lenses. With most GF lenses, you get an impressive six stops of compensation. Another welcome addition to the GFX 100s is the new NPW 235 battery, which we saw on the Fujifilm X-T4. This promises to deliver 460 shots per charge, that's less than 800 shots managed by the GFX 100, but that camera has a non-removable battery grip, that adds to its considerable half dot Fujifilm GFX 100's design but I weighs 900s, which is 500 grams less than the GFX 100 has, a weather-resistant design to fix 3.69 million. FB calling card of the Fujifilm GFX 100's, is that it's a 102MP medium format camera, that's designed for handheld shooting, well that's also the case with the GFX 100, the new model's compact design takes it to new levels. This is partly the result of the removal of the GFX 100's built-in vertical battery grip, which we weren't huge fans of, but also what Fujifilm says is a complete redesign of the whole body. Of course, the GFX 100's is by no means a small camera, with that 900 grams body being bigger and heavier than most full-frame DSLRs. But like the GFX 50's, it will be possible to carry it around in a relatively small shoulder bag, along with some prime lenses, which is a huge deal for medium format camera. Advertisement like the GFX 100, its body is weather resistant, but its new shutter is apparently 22% smaller and 16% lighter. There's also a new 3.69 million dot EVF with 0.77x magnification and 85 FPS refresh, although this falls some way short of the 9.44 million dot EVF on the Sony A1, which is an impressive 240 FPS refresh rate auto in the back. You get a new aft joystick, and there's also decent connectivity in the form of a 3.5 millimeters headphone. Same time next campaign. <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> Fujifilm GFX 100S. Some rumors are true.